Stevensville, Maryland. What is up, my beautiful men and women of Stevensville, Maryland? My beautiful folks of Stevensville, Maryland, that invest in real estate. If you're from Stevensville, Maryland, and you're not interested in investing in real estate, I highly doubt you will find any value in this video because we're talking about investing in real estate. So if you are looking... Uh, for like cool restaurants or like fun stuff to do in Stevensville. I don't, I don't know how you got here, but I, I don't have anything for you. But if you are trying to invest in the real estate, trying to make some money, I'm your guy. Let's jump in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%, that's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise, and I am here for you because I work with you every day, folks. That's what this show is. Interactive show. I work with investors on a daily basis. Today we're working with my dude, my guy, my man. I'm losing my headset. I'm so excited for my man, Terry. Terry, what is up, playa? Obviously, you're from Stevensville, Maryland. I would have been talking about Stevensville for a ridiculous amount of time if you were not, right? So here's the deal. You're from Stevensville, bro, and you have a problem. And I feel like all the other investors out there in Stevensville have this problem. You can't find any deals. You're looking. Woo! Where are the deals at, JY? I can't find the deals. I can't see the deals. Where are the deals? They ain't anywhere, folks. It's 2022. The market is tight, bro. This market is tighter than my butthole at a friggin' Catholic baptism. Jesus, that was inappropriate. Oh, my God. Wow. Holy crap. Did he go? I went there. Wow. Jeez. I don't. That was uncalled for, completely unrelated to the video, and just wildly offensive. I should avoid stuff like that in the future. Anyway, Terry, here's the deal. Bro, the market is tight, though, right? The market's super-duper tight, and you can't find any deals out there in Stevensville that make sense for you, right? So what do you do? You're like, hey, Jay Wise. I want to live where I want. I want to invest where it makes sense. In my home market, I can't find any deals that fit my numbers, fit my criteria, fit my budget. What can I do? And that's what I do, Terry. I help people like you invest all over the world, right? I help you guys find the cash flow numbers that make sense. And for you specifically, Terry, I think it's very important we stick to very low-cost real estate because me and you, we've been looking for some properties, and in the past, we've been focusing on things you can get with your lender. But your lender kind of screwed the pooch a little bit, screwed you over. You're not looking uh, too good from the lending standpoint. So what I decided to do for you is switch gears, find you something that you can just buy cash because you got 100 Gs in the bank. So uh, if you're lucky, we could put one, maybe two of these deals together if we find another one that's even a little cheaper than this one because this one's going to require about 60K. So you should have about 40 grand left over, right? So I'm going to run the numbers in the show here for you utilizing financing because just because you can't get a good loan right now today, Terry, doesn't mean you can't refi it six months, 12 months, 18 months down the road. So uh, we'll get into... More horrible Catholic priest jokes. After I'm just kidding. We won't. There will not be any more horrible Catholic priest jokes. That was a one and done. The rest of the video will just be on real estate investing. Let's go. Two, please. Welcome back, folks. We are going to pull up the number on this one. The numbers, 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 plural, plural. There's more than one number. Come on. Now, this property, this is a mighty fine property. I like this property quite a bit, right? Now, as far as the property itself goes, is it, like, amazing? Does it blow my mind? Is this, like, the greatest house in the world? No, it's just, like, a regular friggin' house, dude. It's, like, dated. 
It's not amazing, okay? But the money this house can make real estate investors like you, that's why I'm excited, right? Now, this is in the Cleveland market, Cleveland, Ohio area, folks. This is important. It's in the city of Lorraine. 1241 Reed Avenue, Lorraine, Ohio, listed at 65K. It's been on the market forever. 165 days. The fact that this is the fact that this is in Lorraine is awesome. Now, I work with investors every day who essentially like the most common customer we have here at Holton Wise, and I'm sure as you're watching this, this is possibly you, right? You're sitting out there on your couch, probably with your underwear on. You probably ain't wearing pants because you're on your couch. You got Cheeto dust in your beard. I get it. You're watching TV and you're like, hey, that real estate's real cheap. It ain't, it ain't this cheap where I live, right? That's, that's, that's our primary customer, right? A primary customer is like, damn, dude, I'm getting sick of super expensive real estate in my market. This market's way cheaper. Damn, I'm sick of horrible landlord-tenant policies and crazy socialistic policies in my market. This market's cheaper, right? So you start Googling, like, yo, what's up with the best cash flow markets? Where's the best cash flow rental properties? Things like that. And usually, ultimately, you end up at Cleveland because we're always in the top ten, right? Everybody's like, Cleveland, great for cash flow, okay? And then you end up here because I'm the expert in the Cleveland market. Now, with all that said, Lorraine, oh, man, we got a – we got some opportunity, right? Why? Because a bunch of people are Googling the same shit you're Googling, and they're all coming to Cleveland. But here's the deal. The metro area, Holton Wise, we work the whole Northeast Ohio area. The metro area we service, we got like three, four, five million people, okay? The city of Cleveland itself, only about 350,000 people, right? So everybody is focusing on the city of Cleveland, and they're missing all these other little suburbs and areas like that. Lorraine, about a half hour west of Cleveland, different county. Lots of opportunity. If this property was in Cleveland proper, we'd have basically the same amount of rental income, basically the same type of tenant base, but the price would probably be $25,000, $30,000 more expensive. On top of that, guess what, folks? The news just dropped that they're building like a a naval base or like a, a naval shipyard or something to do with the Navy and building things, a huge plant. There's going to be several thousand jobs affecting uh, this area. I'm going to put out some more content on that when I do a little more research. I literally just saw that pop off uh, on all my various social media feeds a couple days ago, but I was already high on Lorraine uh, after the fact because – or before that, because the pricing, in my opinion, better because there's not this influx of investors, right? Everybody's going and focusing here, and we're kind of just squeezing out all these deals that, in my opinion, have a little bit better profit margin. On top of that, uh, the city of Lorraine, much easier to deal with than the city of Cleveland, okay? You guys know how I feel about the mayor of Cleveland. Woo! Now, all that is in addition to this new uh, naval base that's being built that's going to I think I saw an article that was like estimated for like 3,000 jobs. So I'm very, very happy with Lorraine. Solid like C-ish type area, right? So that's why I love this deal so much. And then, you know, we're going to go through the numbers here momentarily. Uh, so again, it's not because the house is amazing. It's because the things this house can do for us are amazing. Now, this tenant in there, you saw that the property already had a tenant in there. They're paying about 800 It's market rent. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, not market rent. That's not market rent, rather. Market rent's 1000 They're paying 800 on a month-to-month -month lease. Now, when we take it over, are we going to increase them to market rent, which is 1000 a month immediately? No, because you saw in the photos the property was dated. You don't want to do that because if you go 200 up immediately, they'll probably move out, and then you got to spend like ten grand uh, making the house look fresh again. I mean, yeah, you'll still get an ROI if you do that, but what's better is to just slowly increase their rent and try to get them as close to that 1000 as quickly as you can without pushing them out because you don't want to remove 800 coming in just to drop 10k you want to keep the money coming in so we go up 25 we go up 50 small amounts right but long term this is what we're looking at 12k a year comes in fixed and variable expense estimates i have holton wise do all the management for you folks does not matter where you live my team does it all sold over 200 million dollars worth of properties like this think about that we're looking at a $65,000 list price here. You know how many properties priced at $65,000 you have to sell to get to $200 million? Boop, 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 boop. Bust that out into your iPhone. That's like a lot. I know what I'm doing, okay? So, should clear, pretty conservative estimate here, uh, approximately sixty-two forty-four a year on average. That doesn't mean every year you get that. Some years will be better, some will be worse. But if you own a bunch of properties similar to this one over the long haul, that's the amount of money I expect you to make. Now, as far as price goes, it's been on the market for a very long time, 
right? That's good. Okay, it's going to allow us to get a discount. Why has it been on the market for so long? What's the red flags? There ain't no red flags. I just explained to you earlier, people are focused on Cleveland. It would have been sold if it was Cleveland. Lorraine, not a lot of people are looking on Lorraine. That's one. Number two, think about it. It's a house. There's two kinds of people that could buy this house. People that want to live in this house or real estate investors who want a rental income. Well, guess what? All the people that want to live in this house, they're not interested in this house because there's already a tenant living there. Cuts off half your buyer base. Now you just have investors. Well, half the damn investors are only paying attention to Cleveland because that's what pops up in all the news articles, number one. Number two, the other half might not realize that the property actually has a market rent of 1000 They're only looking at it as 800 So we're going to get a sneaky good deal here, right? So because of all that, I think I could beat the sellers down on price a little bit. I think I'm at 60 you finance that, it's 15K down, 45K for the loan. Should project out long term, 27% cash on cash return in a nice solid neighborhood. Great area for cash paying tenants as well as Section 8 tenants. That's like my bread and butter. I like to be in those neighborhoods uh, where you can go either, right? If you're in like super risky neighborhoods, you kind of have to go Section 8 or else you'll never be able to collect rent. Uh, or if you're in like really, really nice neighborhoods, uh, you really probably don't want Section 8 people living in areas with. Uh, Properties like that because you get so many tenants that have great credit and like have jobs and have like stable income. So you wouldn't need to go Section 8 because a Section 8 tenant is going to be a little more risky usually than like a tenant with a $45,000 a year salary and like a 700 credit score. Uh, but in areas like that, you have to pay a lot more than 60 k So like I find this to be like my favorite sweet spot for investing. So uh, check out the Ultimate Guide to Grading Cleveland Neighborhoods where I graded all the neighborhoods on an A to F scale uh, based upon risk factors and things like that. So like areas like this is where, where I, I, I dig my investing. But you as an investor can have a totally different uh, risk tolerance and investment profile. So it's not like A is better than B. Or C is better than D. That's not what it means. It means this is what A is. This is what B is. These are the risks, the costs, things of that nature, right? So for me, like, I don't really invest in A neighborhoods, okay? I like to invest in, like, C-ish. Like, B, C, and D are, like, the three that I like to invest in. Probably C is, like, the, the most common one. But, you know, you check out the guide, see what works for you. But I like this little sweet spot. So let me know if you want me to write this offer for you. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.